Good evening, Graham Rawlins with our Friday edition of News Geelong. Are you F2D? Stay with us to find out how young people are strategically working their way to be F2D. The House of Jack Rabbit on the Ballerine Peninsula is an award-winning winery that attracts many visitors from all points of the compass. From the world of Geelong sport, Mitch Scoop Cleary has the latest sports news, while from the weather world we'll bring you up, the, up to date with Geelong and the Surf Coast area weather forecast expected over the next six days. Geelong Junior Football sees the large numbers of under 10s, 12s, 14s and 16s grace our local footy ovals each weekend. News Geelong spoke with Geelong Junior Football Coordinator Luke Ma about the continued success of our great game with the juniors. Yes, Rollo, it's been a fantastic start to the season. We're just over halfway through and um, what looks to shape to be a uh, fantastic uh, year to come. For our viewers, the structure of Geelong Junior Football as it currently stands in relation to numbers and age groups. Yeah, look, we've got um, six divisions in the under-16s, seven divisions in the under-14s, and then we run a participation under 12s and under 10s. Um, we're currently sitting at um, around, I think it's about 2,000 um, competitors um, right throughout, and, um, and that's, that only continues to grow. And uh, trouble with uh, fixturing uh, on a Saturday morning, so you spread your fixturing over uh, Friday nights, Saturdays and Sundays? We do, we do. Um, we try and keep the um, Friday nights for the under 10s and 12s for the parents to get their kids to um, the under 10s and 12s games. The 14s and 16s predominantly Saturdays and Sundays, so after that it's vir virtually wherever we can fit them in. Now you're king of the kids and recently uh, the Geelong Junior Interleague Series was, was held against uh, Ballarat playing for the Bob Davis Shield. Yeah, it's going to be held on the 7th of July, Saturday the 7th of July at Bacchus Marsh. Um, we'll play them in the under 13s, 14s, 15s and 16s and as last year hopefully we can get four wins. Um, and look, the, the guys that coach uh, those sides donate their time and um, we're very lucky to have a, a select uh, group of coaches. Harmy Williams is doing it for the first time this year. Obviously a respected senior coach so we're hopeful that in the next um, in the next two or three years that Harmy can be our our leading senior coach within, within our junior ranks. So for our viewers on a Sunday morning, uh, whereabouts is a youth girls program run? We have our youth girls um, under 18 competition run at Winter Reserves, Winter Reserve at Belmont um, Lions home ground. Um, we start an under 12s competition on Sunday for the youth girls, um, so you've got to be under 12. Uh, ben Carmichael and Kane Taylor from Drysdale and Bannockburn respectively are, are actually going to go and umpire the games um, and we do thank them for that and we'd love to get more involvement with, from senior footballs at youth girls level. We don't know the participation rate yet, it'll be whoever turns up on Sunday but um, with the amount of people that we've had express interest I think it's going to be a huge Sunday morning. And expression of interest now out with the clubs for the very competitive junior final series. Yes, they are, and we've we've changed that process. Rather than tell me, yeah, we're keen, we've made it a formal process where you have to actually attend a send out. Uh, they then go through and pick um, why they want to be a host of the junior finals. Um, it showcases their their ground and their uh, venue um, a little bit and they certainly can profit out of it. So all the clubs that have hosted in the past have been fantastic and, and have been um, rewarded with uh, their canteen and, and that type of thing. So that process is out and will be announced uh, very shortly. Local vineyard, Lura Park Estate, has been awarded a contract to supply Qantas International Business Class with its renowned gold medal winning wine from the prestigious Wine Spirits Asia Wine Challenge 2012 held in Singapore earlier this year. It's 25 degrees, hand-picked from 2010 Pinot Gris, was chosen from more than 200 wineries around Australia. Debbie Meany continues the story. So, Lindsay, we've got a great bottle here in front of us. You've had some exciting news involving Qantas. What can you tell me about that? It is exciting. We have won an invited tender for our uh, Pinot Gris to be on Qantas International Business Class, so it is exciting for a little boutique vineyard down here. So invited, it means they've actually approached you. To yes, they have, yeah. and there is more than 200 
other wineries from around Australia. So yeah, we're, it's exciting. It is exciting. But uh, you've also had this happen before, haven't you? We have. We had um, the same wine actually, 2008 vintage. Uh, was on international business class Qantas in 2009. Wow, well that's, uh, that's exciting for you. Mm. You've also had success in a recent um, award yes. in Singapore. The, this very same 2010 Pinot Gris took out gold at the recent Wine Spirits Asia Challenge in Singapore and that was against 700 wines. So yeah, it's a good little performer. It is. It's a, a great wine. And I think what we should do is we should toast your success this morning. Absolutely. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Debbie. Enjoying the product while on the job. Delightful. Young people are overrepresented in, in, in the road toll. It is here that F2D can help as a community strategy to assist young people to be safer on our roads. The Fit to Drive program provides that vehicle of communication as News Geelong attended a Fit to Drive workshop at Belmont High School this week. Uh, it's a program for Year 11 students uh, based on uh, changing their attitudes to driving, hopefully giving them a better uh, indication of how they can become better drivers, practicing methods that they can make better choices, decisions, and then when they take on the practice of driving, they'll become safer drivers on the road and hopefully we'll reduce the uh, road statistics. Now viewers, F2D stands for fit to drive and undoubtedly that's a very important part of uh, educating our young people. Year 11 students, why the focus on year 11? Well, year 11 is a point in time when most of them are getting their learner's permits. Uh, with the changes to 120 hours of practice now, we um, encourage them to practice their driving in, in all conditions. And also it raises the awareness of, uh, during the police presentation, the myths that surround a lot of the things like alcohol, speeding, hooning, etc. Uh, and gives them the facts about, uh, say, what they can do to avoid being in a road crash and becoming a statistic. Uh, we're here today to uh, present a case study to the Year 11 kids. Uh, it's about an accident that happened in uh, 2003 in uh, Sydney. It's an all too common occurrence of uh, an overloaded car. We have eight uh, kids climbed into a car, driving down the road, lost control, and unfortunately two of them have lost their life. So we like to break down that, uh, that crash and how it happened uh, and let them really work through what happened during that crash, some of the things that happened, the choices that were made, the impacts that happened, the responsibility and the peer pressure is something that we really, uh, really have a good discussion about and not only peer pressure in a negative sense but trying to use that peer pressure in a positive sense as well. Notice one element of your presentation this morning was uh, you explicitly used the word crash and not accident and explained why. That's right. Uh, the terminology is shifted towards crash rather than accident. The word accident is uh, in plain that there's no one to blame. We believe that uh, crashes is always something to blame. There's always a contributing factor there that, uh, that makes this happen. So we use the word crash. So. Um, we're here learning about the road toll for you know, youth. So it's been really, been really interesting. It's been a big eye opener kind of thing. We've had all these people come in and lots of discussions about, you know, how we can stay safe on our roads ultimately so is it something you as a younger person uh, from time to time do you do you think about it or do you need to be reminded with campaigns like this as you start to make your, your presence on the road yeah no i think youth is a like obviously a really experimental time with obviously drinking and drugs and partying and that kind of thing and you can get distracted from being safe I guess, so it is really good to be reminded all the time of these really serious problems that are going on. So. Thank you to Belmont High School and the presenters involved in the Fit to Drive campaign. As we go to a break on this Friday edition of News Geelong, don't forget you can Twitter us on our Twitter account, at News Geelong 31, with your thoughts and comments. And now also on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash News Geelong 31. Should Rollo continue growing the beard or shave it off? We'll return with more news after this. <laughs> 